They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel, and this evening I am going to watch a nice video by Nin Explains called The Rules of Cricket. I've been wanting to learn a little bit about cricket and uh, understand the game a little bit better. I'd like to watch some cricket. So, how about I at least understand how this dang game is played, because I have no idea. So here we go. The Rules of Cricket. Nin Explains The Rules of Cricket. The object of the game is for your team to score more runs than the opposing team. Teams are made up of 11 players, with one substitute in case of injury. At the beginning of the game, a coin toss is used to determine who bats first. The fielding team will put all 11 players on the field, whilst the batting team will send out two batsmen. Two batsmen, okay. So, I always thought that cricket was like baseball. You're hitting the ball with a, with a bat or a stick, and it's all about how many runs you score. And in, in the beginning of this, it kind of sounds that way by the way they're talking, but I don't think that's what it is because I've talked to some folks, and I'm pretty sure that is not it, that that is it's the same like objection, but it's a totally different way to get there. Batsmen always work in pairs, and a batsman cannot bat alone. The batsman's job is to score runs and defend their wickets. These wickets are three wooden stumps with two wooden bales resting on top of them. They try and hit the ball away from the wickets and run to their partner's crease. If a batsman hits the ball and both men safely run to the opposite crease, this scores one run. So that's the distance they have to run right there? That's the crease? So you gotta, you gotta hit the ball and run like 20 feet, right? I mean, this guy's hitting the ball pretty far. I can imagine that's an easy run. Hold on, let's learn more. If the bowler bowls the ball high, wide, or throws a no ball, which is an illegal bowl, this automatically scores one run. If the batsman hits the ball along the floor and it reaches the boundary, this scores four runs automatically without the batsman having to run. Wow. And if the batsman hits the ball in the air and it goes over the boundary, this scores six automatic runs. This is the highest scoring play in cricket. I was going to say, this has got to be like a, like a ridiculously high score. Wow. This game's got to be, look at this down here. 69 balls left in it. Wow. It's the job of the fielding team to get the batsman out of the game. The fielding team can designate specific players to bowl the ball towards the batsman. To bowl the ball, a ball must be bowled overarm and be within the channel of play. In cricket, there are 10 ways for a fielding team to get you out. Number one, bowled out. 10 ways. All right, let's see this. Bowled out. If the bowler bowls the ball and it hits the batsman's wickets and knocks over the bales, he's been bowled out. That's what the wickets and bales are for. That makes sense. Number two, caught out. If the batsman hits the ball in the air and it's caught by a fielder, he's been caught out. Number three, run out. If the batsman runs for his partner's crease and the ball is thrown into the wickets before the batsman gets there, he's been run out. Number four, LBW. If the ball hits the batsman's leg and the umpire thinks that the ball would have hit the wickets if his leg wasn't in the way, he is ruled out by LBW, leg before wicket. Number five, stumped out. If the batsman swings and misses the ball, the wicketkeeper can catch the ball and push the ball into the wickets. If this happens before the batsman can return to the crease, he's been stumped out. Huh. So the guy behind there can knock the wickets over. So you don't actually have to hit the stumps to knock the wickets off. If the guy swings and misses, you don't have to hit him because the guy behind can hit him. And then the... Okay. This is a lot. It's a four minute video and this is a lot. I'm only halfway through. Number six, hit wickets or accidental outs. On the rarest of occasions, a batsman can get himself out or his own partner out by accidentally hitting the wickets themselves. The other oh, he hit it straight across. The four ways to get out in cricket almost never happen in today's game. These include hitting the ball twice in one stroke, handling the ball, obstructing a fielding player, or taking too long to take to the field. Once a batsman okay. is out, he's replaced by the next batsman in the batting team's lineup. Once 10 players are out, the players switch sides so that the batsmen are now the fielders and vice versa. The highest run total after both sides have had their turn to bat wins. That's basically the game in a nutshell, but there are a few other things you'll need to understand. A bowler wow. must deliver six legal bowls to a batsman. Once six legal bowls have been played, this is known as an over. Once an over is complete, a new bowler will then try and get the other batsman out by bowling the ball from the other side. Once both teams have finished batting, this is known as an innings. The amount of overs and innings vary depending on the format of cricket. In 2020 cricket, each team is given 20 overs for one innings. This game generally lasts about three hours. In one day cricket, each wow. team is given 40 or 50 overs for one innings. As the name implies, the game generally lasts about a day. 
In Test cricket, there are no limits for overs and the game theoretically ends when all batsmen are out and is usually played for two innings. This game can last anywhere up to five days and is the oldest and longest form of cricket. Five if days? You're new to five days for one game? One game! Holy smokes. I can't, I mean, the championships must be a murder. Cricket, I highly recommend watching the highlights of any Indian Premier League game to start out with. If you're watching cricket on TV, they'll con- Highlights of Indian Premier League. Noted. Conveniently tell you how many runs have been scored, how many batsmen are out, and they'll even tell you what the other team scored and how many runs are required to win the game. Cricket may seem like a slow game, but as you watch or play it, the rules will become clear. If you have found this video at all helpful, please comment, like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is always appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, feel free to discuss the video over there. But in the meantime, enjoy cricket. Alright, well that was very interesting. Wow, cricket is so much more complex than I thought it was. I really thought it was just like kind of a different version of baseball, but it's really, I mean, kind of, but not really. Um, that's pretty, it, that was pretty intense. Uh, just trying to gather all that information. That is crazy, a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of information. Um, I will check out the Indian Premier League, and I would like you all to check out nin if you are so inclined i will put the link in the description below if you want to check out their youtube page good karma pay it forward go give these guys a watch they got a bunch of cool videos over there i'm probably do some more i've done one before i think that's where i did the hurling video from was from nin so uh well thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys as always always appreciate you being here i uh hope to catch up with you guys again soon and i think that uh you know I think that's it. So, Bob's your uncle.